Thanks, Ndubisi, our wordsmith for this week. Lagos, the commercial capital of Nigeria, has been dubbed as the land of dreams. A lot of people throng in daily in search of greener pastures, hoping that when they get here, things will change for the better. This photographer captures the rush and the colors and flavors of this energetic city at her solo exhibition. Photographic prints from the Lagos scenery captured through the lens of photographer Dayo Akimbodi while riding and cycling has been put together for this solo exhibition titled The Colors and Flavors of Lagos at the Freedom Park in the Commercial City. Lagos is such a beautiful place, very colorful. The first thing that strikes you when you come into Lagos, if you are coming from, say, uh, Ibado, is you see the yellow buses. So yellow stands out. If you go to the beach, you see the yellow of the sunset and the yellow of the sunrise. So, if you go to the markets, you see the umbrellas of the traders. Purple, blue, white, green, all the colors. And that's what we are trying to show, the colors and the flavors of Lagos. A lot of times we get to hear um, news or uh, stories that are not so good, but I think what this photography, you know, shares the positivity that this um, state, Lagos is, you know. She captures images that are enough to, you know, make you stop, think, and appreciate the beauty that Lagos is. itself defines the variety and the broad these um, contributions that we have in the photography space. We are into real estate so I can um, appreciate the fact that she has captured most of well, some of the iconic buildings you can probably consider to be in VI. So that's why my particular interest in this painting. The images captured using her mobile phone show the elements that make Lagos stand out. They may be familiar to the residents, but this creative reveals some other parts in such a colorful way that's oblivious to the people. Every single work that, that is here was taken with my phone camera and there are pictures that were taken on impulse. I'm a runner, I get up in the morning, I'm going to run. I'm a cyclist, I get up in the morning, I'm going to cycle. And during the course of running or cycling, if I see anything that catches my attention, I stop, I pull out my phone and I take the picture. And the thing about pictures is that once you miss that moment, you have missed it.
it's just magic. It's beautiful. It's stunning. Um, it's raw in its honesty. It captures Lagos in life, in truth. Um, the colors, everything about it. Dio's work, it's impossible for Dio's work not to connect with you. And the most amazing thing is that she captures these things in her everyday just being dialed. We have 47 works exhibited here in different sizes, showing the different angles, different spots in Lagos. And now the beauty of these um, pictures is that many, uh, many of us would have seen these places before. We have passed through these places, but Dio now comes and captures them in, uh, in angles and you know, positions that you know, is mind-blowing. My favorite work I call tasting. It's a man who is tasting ground nuts before deciding to pay for it. We call it tasting. Uh, I, I like the expression of the man's face and uh, I like it symbolizes that Nigerians or Lagosians have trust in each other. The granite seller wants to sell her granite. The man brings out a 1,000 Naira beer. The granite seller doesn't have change. The man says, go get me change. The granite seller drops her wares and goes to look for change. The man sits by it and is waiting for her to bring the change. So that speaks volumes. There is trust amongst Nigerians and Lagosians. This photographer believes if there's anything this pandemic has taught us, it's the spirit of gratitude. Let's all be thankful for everyone and everything in our lives while doing what makes us happy. Then I have Ijai Leja, where it's a typical uh, picture depicting that Nigerian women or Lagos women are really hard working. So this woman sits down, she has raw fish, she has a fire going on, she's grilling some fish, some two layers of, of, uh, of two trays of fish are ready for sale. The damper, I think, is one of the most iconic. And, you know, of course, you know, damper is very Lagos. There are all, you know, equivalents all over the country. But a public bus is, if you like, the stage of the people. That's where you hear the problems. That's where you also hear the solutions, the solutions that connect with the average human being, with the average citizen, with the average person. So, yes, that's. That's really why this piece means a great deal to me. It really does. It, it connects with me. I think it speaks for Nigeria. It's, it speaks for the people on so many levels. It shows real Lagos. I mean, the narrative around this, whenever I think about Lagos, you think about congestion, dirty city, and all that. But she's shown us some very beautiful sights, Lagos. Um, she's also shown how lovely the scenery can look. Um, when you go around, you think that um, there's a, a bit of a paint of blue, but it's actually the color. Yeah, so she's, she combines, um, she combines the, the beauty of the sun. You see the sun, the water, and then the blue sky. You know, and then she takes Lagos, um, the way it you know, makes it look natural. So I see you see the Kekemawa, there you see the Okada, you see the lovely uh, bridge, the Leki Koi bridge. You see rain, you see sun, you see so she's done a fantastic work. The collection is a documentation of these delightful moments like the sunrise, sunset and blue hour amongst the many other well-framed pictures which have been frozen in time for future generations. I like water, I like sunrises, I like sunsets. I like the blue hour. 
So most of my work, we have an element of water. There's hardly any of my work that does not have water, either in the form of raindrops or in the form of the Lagos Lagoon or in the form of the Atlantic Ocean where Lagos sits. This engineer and accountant by training decided to pursue her passion when she turned 50. The works of art displayed is the result of her desire to show Lagos as she sees it, color and flavor.